Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about Dreyses Duplessis versus Israel Adesanya. Dreyses Duplessis, 21 wins, 2 losses, plus 110 uh, underdog, 30 years old, 6 foot 1 with a 76 inch reach. Fighting Israel Adesanya, who's 24 wins, 3 losses. He's 3-2 and two in his last 5 fights. The one loss, as we know, is Pereira. Got back on track with finishing Pereira and then lost a fight uh, against Sean Strickland, where he's kind of dominated throughout that fight. Closer to the fight than people want to uh, uh, acknowledge, but Sean clearly won it. Minus 135 favorite, 35 years old, 6'4", six six with an 80-inch reach, 3 inches in height with a 4-inch reach for Adesanya. I think I think Dreyses would be an idiot to just trade with Israel. You have to think he's going to be looking for uh, his takedowns. He has very, very good timing. And Dreyses has never been to a decision. Or he's won two decisions. He has 19 finishes. That's what it was. He won his belt by finish. Uh, by decision. Eight first round finishes for Dreyses Duplessis. 7-0 and with five finishes in those seven fights. You know, you can't really go back and look at his other previous fights. Because there's some fights where he's looked bad. I mean, that's the reality. He still won them. The Sean Strickland fight, I don't think you can miss 200 strikes and still win the fight. That makes no sense. You're missing every, almost everything you're, you're throwing. And I thought Strickland uh, won 3-2. Um, but it was close. I acknowledge that on the live. Now, with Israel coming back, taking a lot of time off, healing his body, I think is unbelievably great for him. Unbelievably you know, you look at Izzy and what he's so good at, 16 finishes has been to a decision eight times. He's 13-3 and three in the UFC, only been finished once by Pereira, which Pereira would destroy Dreyses Duplessis, destroy him. Um, but the biggest X factor to me personally is just Dreyses' takedowns. You look Dreyses when he took down Strickland with ease. He let Strickland back up. Um, he did it, I think, three times. And it was just not really a struggle. His timing was incredible. I would assume that would be the game plan for this one. Get Israel, bait Israel to come in at him, time his takedowns. He's going to have to throw some punches for sure, so he needs to stay technical. The problem with that, I think, is Izzy has incredibly great timed knees. And I would assume they're going to work on that. But they're also working on his defense on the ground. The X factor for me personally is just Dreyses' takedowns. I, I don't know how Izzy deals with that in the fourth and the fifth round unless Izzy can get him out of there. And Dreyses is big. He hits very hard. And Dreyses on top of Izzy could be a huge problem. I want Israel Adesanya to win this, but I can't deny the fact that Dreyses' takedowns are a big concern for me. They're, they just are. You know, his ground and pound, his submission ability, his finish ability. I'm not worried about him really on the feet. Um, if the exchange, of course, he can catch Izzy, but the better striker clearly is Israel Adesanya, but the better grappler clearly is Dreyses Duplessis. Will he use it? If he does, I think he wins. If he doesn't, Israel snipes him and gets him out of here and shuts his big-ass mouth up, but I do think Duplessis wins this. I won Izzy. I'll be rooting for him. I will be live for the entire thing, but I do think Dreyses wins. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Peace.